All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Potato Head Theater. Today's story comes to us from Luke chapter 2, verses 4 through 20. Today's story is one that is filled with great surprises. There are many Christmas songs that have been written about this part of the real Christmas story. It all starts with a group of shepherds taking care of their sheep out in the middle of a field late at night. Hi, Caleb and Benjamin. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. It's getting kind of late, don't you think, Paul? A little bit. A little bit, Caleb. As you can imagine, they were probably bored as can be. So, uh, Paul, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do, Benjamin? I don't know. What do you want to do, Caleb? I don't know. What do you want to do, Paul? I don't know. Hey, don't start that again. This was probably something they did a lot. Taking care of sheep can be quite boring sometimes. Man, I wish Arlene, Marlene, and Charlene would do something to just lay there and eat grass. You're telling me I'm about to fall asleep over here. But they were about to get the surprises of their lives. You know, sometimes I wish something interesting would happen just once instead of being over here all the time. Suddenly, up in the sky, there appeared a great, huge group of bright, shining angels. They spoke to the shepherds and said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I gotta change my pants. Ah! Oh, oh. They continued, we bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Good news? Like you're not gonna kill us, good news? You said good news to all people. What are you talking about? Shepherds were amazed by what they saw. You're telling me this is totally amazing. Then the angels began to sing glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth and goodwill towards men. They told the shepherds all about the baby Jesus who had just been born in the town of Bethlehem. Wait, so there's a baby named Jesus? What's so special about him? And, and did you say Jesus or Jesus? Can we get some clarification? This baby Jesus was the son of God who had come to earth to take away the sins of all people. Well, that is special. I, I, guess, I guess we should go check that baby out. Then, just as quickly as the angels had appeared, they disappeared. The shepherds didn't know what to make of all this. They looked at each other and said, let's go to Bethlehem. Caleb, Benjamin, come. Let us go to Bethlehem to see this thing that has come to pass that the Lord has made known to us. They ran as fast as they could until they reached the town of Bethlehem. <laughs> the shepherds went straight to the stable where Mary and Joseph were. Mary and Joseph had to stay in the stable because there was no room in the inn. Wow, I wonder why they have to be in the stable. Yeah, she's having a baby. Don't you think she'd have to be in a room somewhere? I mean, there's all kinds of cows and sheep everywhere. Be quiet, Marlene. The baby's sleeping. After all, the city was full of people because everyone had traveled there in order to pay their taxes. You two be quiet. Everybody's got to pay their taxes. It's probably the best they could do. The shepherds were the surprise guests at Jesus' birth. They gathered all around Jesus, the Savior of the world, and worshipped him. Ah, uh, look at the cute little baby. Isn't he nice? Goochie, goochie, goo. The shepherds learned that day that Jesus came for all people. The angels appeared not to the most important people of that time. They appeared to the regular, ordinary people, the shepherds. They showed the world that God sent his son into the world to save the whole world from their sins. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Potato Head Theater. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.